Come walk with me. Speak to my heart. Good morning. Friends, I welcome all of you again to today's Eucharistic celebration. May all the veterans here please rise. May all the veterans here please rise. Thanks to all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the services you have rendered to our country. May the good Lord bless you. Today's homily, I titled it, Be Strong in Your Faith. Be Strong in Your Faith. And reflecting how these seven brothers gave their lives one by one because of their faith. They never shied away from being killed. I could picture Jesus Christ saying to them, Come walk with me, for the road is straight and narrow. Come walk with me. You cannot walk alone, for the road is rough, and there are many dangers. Come walk with me, and I will see you through. Let me ask you this question. If you'd like to go to heaven, raise up your hand. Yeah, my hand is already up. As we are gradually approaching the end of the liturgical year, we can see the leaves falling, snow coming down, and all the readings are gradually pointing towards the end of time. And so the readings of today offer us the opportunity to, to reflect not only on the last things, but to reflect on our lives to know whether we are on the right track or on the wrong track. It offers us the opportunity to reflect on the lives of those that have run the race before us. And they are now cheering us on. Keep up keeping on. Don't give up. We're here for you. And so today's first reading we are presented with the story of the seven brothers who were forced to defy their faith and what they believed, but they said no. It really touched me. The words coming from the mouth of these brothers. Their courage, their faith, They never shied away. The story is a typical example of how hope can sustain us. What was at stake was not just eating pork. Rather, it was about God's command. It was their faith. It was their hope. As the people of God, they didn't want to give that up. Rather, they, one by one, faced persecution, torture, humiliation, and death because they knew where they were going. One of the brothers said, You are depriving us of this life. But the king of the world will raise us up to live forever. The king of the world will raise us up to live forever. The third person was asked to put out his tongue 
and he put out his tongue and it was cut off. And the fourth person was nearing his death and he loudly said, it is my choice to die in the hands of men with the hope that I will be raised up again. But for you, my persecutors, there will be no resurrection for you. They one by one face persecution courageously and faithfully because of the hope of the resurrection. And we as Catholics, we believe in the resurrection of the body to new life. And that is the central to our faith. And St. Paul made it very clear in his words, saying, I hand over to you what I first received. If there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ had not been raised. And if Christ had not been raised, then our preaching is in vain and our faith is in vain. For us to resurrect a new life, we must first die. And so we begin to ask ourselves these questions. Am I willing to die for my faith? Am I willing to suffer ridicule for my faith? Am I willing to run the race, irrespective of the troubles, temptations, difficulties, humiliations that might be on my way? Just like the seven brothers were killed today, some priests and Christians as he's suffering heavy persecution and torture and killing in so many countries. I take my country, for example, Nigeria. On April 24, 2018, two priests and 13 Christians we are killed at morning mass. Still in Nigeria, on August 1st, 2019, Father Paul from Enugu Diocese was shot dead. Still in Nigeria, August 30th, 2019, Father David from Jalingo, was traveling for a meeting. He was killed, and his car set ablaze. Many priests and Christians are facing torture and persecution in so many countries. According to statistics, from a Pew Research Survey and the International Society for Human Rights, they said that close to 100,000 Christians are being killed every year because of their faith. And that is the reason why we have to pray for them. But the readings of today are not meant to scare us, rather to prepare us, to fortify our faith, to encourage us in whatever difficulties we are undergoing as Christians, not to give up, to have that great focus, and to always know that God is with us, 
And to always know that after this life, there's a better life to come. That we will resurrect and we will be with God, praising him forever. Ultimately, we are called today to pray for our priests and Christians that are still suffering persecution, attack, and are being killed in so many countries. We ask the good Lord to give us the grace, the strength, the faith to keep on running that race so that at the end we will be with him in his kingdom. Along the way you stumbled in the darkness trials and pain temptations everywhere look on to me your only blessed Savior, come walk with me, and I will see you through. Come walk with me, for the road is straight and narrow. Come walk with me, you cannot walk alone, for the road is rough. And there are many dangers. Come walk with me. And I will see you through. Come walk with me, speak to my heart, what's deep in me, only you know, come walk with me, come walk with me, speak to my heart, what's deep in me, only you know, come walk with me. Come walk with me, speak to my heart, what's deep in me, only you know, come walk with me, come walk with me, speak to my heart, what's deep in me, only you know, come walk with me. Come walk with me, speak to my heart, what's deep in me, only you know, come walk with me, yeah, come walk with me, speak to my heart, Lord. what's deep in me,
Speak to my heart What's deep in me Only you know Come walk with me Come walk with me, Lord Speak to my heart What's deep in me Only you know 